in this video, we're going to be focusing on layers. So different ways to merge layers, copy layers, uh, share layers between projects, and how to even copy all the contents of layers to a new layer, a uh, single layer. Um, so let's go ahead and get to it. Before we start looking at layers and all the different things you can do with them, I wanted you to show you how you can share a layer from one project with another project. So let's go ahead and pop open this one right here. Then we're going to open up our layers here and then I'm just going to grab, it's already selected, it's the only layer that's there that I can do this with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab it and hang on to it and then drag all the way over to gallery and just hold for a second. And when it pops open the gallery, I'm going to use my other finger to tap open this other project. And I could just drop it, but it'll drop it wherever it wants to and I want to say where I want it inside of my layers. So now I'm just going to put it right here. Awesome! So now we have our pine cone right there. And that is how you share from one project to another. And now with this particular uh, file I've set up, let's talk about some of the other things that you can do with layers. The first thing I wanna do is move a layer. So how do you do that? So this is right now over the top of my pine cone and I want it to be below my pine cone. So all I have to do is just grab that layer and drag it down to wherever I want it, right like that. And now you can see that I have and pencil, which is actually two layers, two text layers right here that need to be moved as well. So how do you group those so that they're easier to move? Well, there's two different ways. You can tap each, tap one of them and then gently slide the other one to select it as well. And you can tap this little option here that says group, or you can just tap the one above and tap it again, and you can combine down and that's a way to group. And then once you have your group, you can just select the group and then you can move, you can select your move and transform tool and it will apply it to both layers together. So now I can just move this down here. There are a lot of reasons why you might want to merge layers as well. So let's say we wanted to merge these two stripes so they were on one layer. Okay, all you have to do is that make sure that they're close to each other. So this one is just above the other one that I want to merge. If it was, if it was up here, I wouldn't want to start merging it because it would also, it would merge together with the, the pine cone. So we do want to make sure that whatever we're merging is right, right next to each other in the layer stack. Okay, so now with that right there, there are two ways you can merge. You can go ahead and tap this and merge down, or um, you can pinch. You can pinch these two layers together like that, and that will merge them together, which is kind of cool. Let's say that I didn't want my pine cone to show up everywhere just where there are stripes. And I decided to tap that and turn that into a clipping mask. Now it just shows like that. If I wanted to, I could actually merge down like that. And there is one other thing. You can have a, a mask. Let's go ahead and open that one up. So you're, you're drawing little on your mask and making little dots like that. And you decide that you want to turn that all into one layer. Um, so you can't merge this down, but if you create a layer on top of it that's empty and merge that down. Now you have effectively, let's turn this off, you have effectively um, a layer here that has holes wherever you masked out so it's invisible, which is kind of cool. Sometimes you need to do that too. Okay, let's say that we actually want to uh, create a duplicate of our layer. So we've got our little pine cone there. And, um, and we're going we're gonna to go side by side, but make one smaller or something like that. There's actually two different ways to duplicate a layer. So you can gently slide it over to the left and tap duplicate, or you can tap it and select copy. But if you go that route, then you also have to come over here to the wrench and tap paste, which is fine, but it's more steps than just sliding and tapping duplicate. Okay, so now it's um, given me a, a new layer and I'm going to go ahead and use my transform tool, which is already selected there, and I'm going to go ahead and scale this down just like we wanted to. And actually, why not just turn it so it's a little cute? Finally, there may be times when you want to copy all of the artwork onto one layer. Let's go ahead and let's see. I'm going to compress that group like that, but I want to be at the very top so that it just pastes right where I want it to on the top of the stack. So what I'm going to do is come over to my wrench and then under add, I'm going to select copy canvas. And after it's done, you can tap paste. 
And now it's pasted and it has my transform tool open. It's pasted on the very top layer there and it includes the background and everything. So sometimes you don't want the background to go with it. The background is just to help you see things. So if that's the case, if you make invisible one of those layers, let's do this again. And now you go over and do the same thing, add copy canvas and then paste. It will only do the parts that you have visible. So this is really cool. It's copying all the visible layers onto a layer onto itself. And like I said, it's kind of a nice, useful thing to be able to do. Thanks so much for watching and I hope your day is amazing.